Hello, welcome to Real Scent Review. This is Joe. Please subscribe to the channel, give a like, and press the bell so you can receive notifications. Welcome back, guys, to another review. Thank you for tuning in. Tonight, I'm going to be reviewing Invictus Legend. Is it better than the original Invictus? We will find out. So, right off the top, I will warn you, um, all of the Paco Rabanne Invictus line, say what you want about the smells, the individual scents of the fragrances, the atomizers are very poor quality. Uh, the atomizers are not very, very good. I don't know how well you can see this, but you see it's like a, it's like a button you have to push down and the, the, the pressure distribution on it is not even. So if, if you press it in a certain area closer to the edge, it's going to completely screw up the actual distribution of the atomization so I find you almost have to put two fingers and push it down that way so you make sure you're pushing down the entire button simultaneously anyway um, having said that the smell itself is very nice um, I'm sure everybody knows about the original Invictus the original Invictus came out back in 2013 so nine years old it's almost a modern classic at this point Invictus was very popular for a long time. It still is popular, although the popularity is dwindling compared to what it used to be. Very popular among younger males especially. It's, uh, it's been the quintessential, one of the quintessential clubbing scents of the past decade. Invictus is a very youthful, uplifting, kind of bubblegummy, sweet, slash citrusy, aquatic scent. It, it covers a lot of bases. Um, it doesn't do any one thing particularly well. Meanwhile, it's a it's a mix of a bunch of different scents that that are made to get attention, made to make you smell fresh and youthful and springy and energetic. Really, is is what it's made for. So, the original Invictus differs in certain ways from the original Invictus. Invictus Legend has, first of all, the addition of sea salt, and also heavy on the grapefruit so the this the opening on Invictus Legend is purely grapefruit it's a heavy in your face somewhat synthetic grapefruit with the addition of sea salt so you're getting a salty type of aquatic grapefruit up front the salt is there to add an aquatic tinge to the scent it's it's very nice so right up front we get the very strong synthetic grapefruit with the sea salt very fresh salty and there's a sweetness in there too of course the 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 sweetness the bubblegummy sweetness that invictus legend that invictus the invictus line is known for however in in this invictus legend the bubblegummy sweetness is is definitely turned down compared to the original invictus this is definitely more of an aquatic aquatic grapefruity citric take on the original the other thing that legend has Invictus legend has compared to the other offerings in the Invictus line is the addition of bay leaf so this adds a a green sort of herbal herbal scent a herbal touch to, to the scent here it's uh it's it's not one of the most prominent notes but it is there you can detect it especially if you smell this kind of up close to you um, the other addition to this is Amber. So the original Invictus had sort of a fresher, woody, ambroxan laden dry down, typical fresh. Think uh, in the same vein as Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette, in, in that same vein at least. Now it, the dry down of Invictus Legend is different. This has amber wood, which adds a, a more of a warmer kind of woody creaminess to it. It's, it's warm, it's not fuzzy and uh, fresh and effervescent like the Ambroxan in the original Invictus. So this is a less woody, more ambery, sweet, kind of warm dry down. Um, another note in this that I definitely detect that is not lifted on that is not listed on any of the official reviews on the internet for Invictus Legend is coconut. I definitely get a coconut note. It's not really overpowering, but it is there to my nose. I think it's very obvious that there is a, a, a hint of coconut in the scent. For that reason, I, I would label this as more of a tropical offering. It, it, it reminds me of a tropical setting, you know, being on a beach with some palm trees and maybe some coconuts falling on the sand. 
that's that's definitely what I get uh, from Invictus Legend here. It's a more tropical spin on on the original, essentially. Um, I think it's very nice. It's an eau de parfum concentration. It's very heavy. The performance is great. It's um, it's it's like I said, it's it's citrusy because of the grapefruit, but it's also got the sweetness to it. It's got the sweetness because of the amber wood and also a little bit of coconut in there. But at the same time, it's citric and it has the freshness of the bay leaf and the sea salt. So it's, um, one would think that because of the, the tropical properties that I've mentioned, that this would be geared towards solely hot summer days. I do, however, have to disagree because the eau de parfum concentration, it's, it's strong. Um, I think you could definitely get away with wearing this in the fall, in the cooler weather, for sure, for sure, because of the heavier notes. Um, this, this could cut through cool air. I wouldn't say it's winter friendly, but definitely cooler days in fall, summer nights would be great. Uh, spring, of course, as well. And during the, um, during the summer, yes, I would, I would say it's easy to wear this during the summer, as long as the heat, as long as it's not extremely hot. Like, it's a heavier scent. Um, wearing this in the high, high heat might make this a little bit cloying to some people. So I, I would avoid wearing this in above 30 degrees Celsius weather. Yeah, so on to the performance now. The performance is well above average, being an eau de parfum concentration. The longevity on my skin is eight, nine hours. I can smell this as a skin scent later on. Um, the projection, even though it's an eau de parfum concentration, the projection is arm's length for the first two hours. It's a heavy projector at the very beginning. Another reason why you might want to avoid wearing this in the extreme heat. The sillage, great being an eau de parfum. This hangs in the air around you for at least at least 20 minutes after spraying. So if performance and being noticed is, uh, are, if those are important things to you, then this could be a definite, uh, a definite good choice for you. A lot of people like to hate on Paco Rabanne Invictus, and I understand why. The original Paco Rabanne Invictus was, like I said, very youthful, almost as though it was meant specifically for club wear or just to wear out in public to get noticed. I'm not saying it's a bad scent, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's something that you would want to wear if you want to get noticed, honestly. Even though it does smell good, I wouldn't call it um, an overly top quality scent, for example. For that reason, a lot of people dislike the original Invictus. To those people, I would say definitely give this a try. This is almost a more, a more mature version of the original Invictus. Although I wouldn't, I wouldn't call this a formal scent, but it's still for for summertime, for social events, uh, and for even cooler weather. Like I said, this would be great for for casual wear. But whereas the original Invictus would be for, I would say honestly, teenage males. This could be, you know, a full-grown man up until the up until his thirties could could get away with wearing this, and it would not smell too youthful or, or juvenile on a man of of that age. So I think it's more versatile than the first one, and I think it's just a step up in terms of quality and performance and class. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed my review of Paco Rabanne Invictus Legend Eau de Parfum. Like I said, please subscribe to the channel drop a like, and press the bell so you can get some notifications on your phone, tablet, or computer. Thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure. Bye.